So guys, this is my review for Finnet Pirate Princess, and with that guys, let's dive right into this review of episode 10. And so, um, this episode, it was, it, it was really, really good, like, more so really beautiful at the very end of the episode, uh, which I will be talking to you all about uh, here in a little bit. Um, but I, I wanted to just definitely mention, though, that... Um, this episode was it was straightforward with some key things that happened but ultimately um yeah this was indeed a really really great uh episode here uh this episode was titled the curtain rises on the climax and uh, the key thing to note is is this title is pertaining to what's happening towards the end i'm only going to use a couple clips um just because uh basically guys for, for those of you didn't for, well for many of you that don't know i got a copyright strike on my channel recently a few days ago from a review video uh for the case study of anitas um very randomly um by by i guess somebody in japan i don't know um but i have a copyright strike here on the channel so i'm gonna try my best to leave to use only specific images not many um, for this review here today, but needless to say, in this episode, the cr the crew here, Finn and the crew, they arrive at the destination that they're supposed to supposed to be heading to. Um, they're here, and they are basically, you know, walking through and trying to figure out where they're supposed to go to. Now, with all of that being said, Abel and his crew are headed in their direction. They're headed here, um, and they keep showing different clips of them. Uh, but uh, all in all, this was more so focused on Fena, um, Yukimaru, um, and the rest of the crew here. Now, they get here specifically. They arrive here. But I definitely want to show this image right here. And this is basically where they're at. They're actually in the, the image that I use is basically them inside the, the, the island. But this is the outside of the island. It actually comes from under the water. Like, this is just really, really dope, right? It comes from under the water. It's just this dramatic scene uh, as everybody, including Fena, are just like memorized by this uh, by this uh, huge island popping out from the water. It's just really, really just really dope. Just re-looking re at this. It's just a, a dope scene, beautiful scene, um, to be honest. But uh, this is the island that they needed to head to uh, as they are getting ready to search for uh for for edit editing now once they they are like they're like like literally just traveling through the various areas of this island they end up walking into this that this base of this door um now at the same time shitan and yukamaru they're kind of like you know questioning finna here and there like are you okay because again they're they're still trying to make sure that they're not that she's not like like what was it, uh, episode four or three, whichever, whichever episode was, maybe it was even, uh, two, uh, where she had gotten, uh, controlled by something, um, and, you know, they were just making sure that she wasn't being controlled by anything, but Fennec just kept telling him, like, she's okay, she's, she's, uh, cognitively sound, you know, she's cool, she's just going off of, uh, what, you know, she's just, she's just, like, searching, just like everybody else, she and she yeah, at the same time, if I remember correctly, I believe she was telling them like she knows where she's going. She just has that feeling. So once they get to this door, then it's you know, Finna reaches out and she touches like a button or something on the door, and then the door ends up opening. But then that's when we see what's behind the door, and oh, what a sight it is to see. And such a sight it is, guys. This room, this humongous room is filled with just gold and trinkets and just filled with riches, literally riches galore that people in this time would literally definitely die to try to get to. Um, you know, this area, I, literally, this is more than likely millions, probably billions of dollars um, sitting in this room. <laughs> Uh, per this timeline um, and yeah anybody come in here grab all as much as bags of gold as they need and want um, probably some silver stuff in here too um, just yeah just some some 
definite riches in here. But one of the things I do want to mention, um, I'm not going to show the image, but through all of this, them watch, you know, just like scavenge hunting for whatever they can possibly grab in this room, that Shitan finds a specific room probably in the back. I, I can't remember. Um, but he looks up at something. It looks like it kind of looks like a, a, a lamp or something. But I, I couldn't really tell because the camera was pulled back so far because it was giving us the the, the back portion of, of Shitan sitting in this room. But again, it looked like he, he was saying basically, like, it, is that what I think it is? Basically what he was saying. Um, but they leave it off at that. So I'm really curious to, to know what specifically that thing is that um, she told me was looking at more than likely isn't a lamp, but it, it's just something of importance that she had 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 noticed in this room. Um, but with that, now we can talk about the literally the beautiful moment towards the end of episode ten, and it was this moment here, uh, basically in this huge room. There's these uh, I want to say they're like these towels, right? Um, these towels that are there, there's this room, um, it's, it's a humongous room, but it's like these, these stonish like towels that Finna is, uh, basically on top of. She basically like, like it's per the, it's, it's connection, like in, in what I was talking about in my review in episode nine last week, that the song connects everything to, to get them to, 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 uh, Eden and, what ends up happening, Finna ends up dancing to that song that her and Yukumaru uh, uh, sang and, and, and hummed together in last, in last week's episode. So as she's dancing, the thing about it is Yukumaru's here with, him, with her, and he remembers uh, back when they were kids and her dancing the same exact way that she was here. Um, but it's just so such much more fluent and much more beautiful. The 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 songs playing in the background. It's just really just a great scene, guys. But but the thing to note though here in this scene is that the the steps the like the how how Finna is dancing. She's actually stepping and uh, basically putting in a code basically here on these uh, towel like uh, uh, step uh, uh, things here, right? And the code ends up unlocking these uh, gigantic uh, stairs that lead up. It's literally the, the stairs go up in the air and to the point where there's some water that forms at the very top. So it's like they're underneath some water, but they're at the bottom and the stairs, they got to go up the stairs to go up to and, and through that water. And basically, they're, they, they basically were telling each other, like, like, this is it. This is leading um, to uh, to Eddie. And the other th key thing to note is that Finna does mention saying like before she starts dancing, she says uh, et Etumine was here. Uh, the beginning. She talks about the beginning and the end. She's Etumine. She says something else. I can't remember off the top of my head um, here the specific uh, uh, character. But wait, give me a, just a second. I'll, I'll uh, see if I can find it here on my phone um because i got the image up uh somewhere else she says etamine um So she says, etamine fin finesse or finis. Uh, there's um, like the, the word etamine is, is engraved in one of the, the stone parts of the, of 
this uh, thing here that she dances on and these footprints as well. So that's the name uh, of the person that she's talking about. That she, means that, that she says that she came here as well. So we might see this person or, or something of this person, uh, belongings or something, something else uh, up because uh, Edding is is up those stairs and through that, that water that is above their heads. Uh, Finna and, and Yukamaru's head. So, yeah, guys, such a great episode. I really, really enjoyed episode 10. Um, truly, truly was such a great uh, episode, to be honest. Uh, basically, like, just uh, more so like the end, I want to say, was just really great. It was just really beautiful. And like I said, the dancing and the song, it just it was just beautiful. Um, but with that, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you all think of episode 10 of Finna Pirate Princess? When you first sat down to watch it, leave some comments in the comment section below if you feel up to it. And I will talk to you all next time with more Finna Pirate Princess. Peace, guys.